All right, welcome back. So Tom McDonald has just dropped a new single called The System, and I'm really not too sure what to think about it. I mean, on one hand, I love it. Um, he has the bars. Tom is a master at spitting bars. The music's good. And his verses are pointing out a lot of issues that we have in our society today. So I take no issues with the verses. It's the chorus I have a problem with. The chorus and part of the bridge. Let's take a listen. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. No. <laughs> Just wrong. I'm not a victim. I'm not a victim of the system. I create my own reality. I'm not going to fault Tom McDonald too bad because most young people think that way. They think the system is out to get them all the time. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that taxes are victimizing you, but I don't really think that's what he's going for here. And the words sort of rhyme, victim, system. I mean, he is crafting a song here. But in the end, the message is wrong because I'm not a victim. And if anything, the system wants you to believe that you're a victim. Why? Because if you believe that you're a victim, you'll never get anywhere in life. It's like the very first thing I teach in the Secrets of Wealth program that if you have a victim mindset, you'll never have any real money. The system is just the latest scapegoat, just another excuse to blame your problems on as to why you didn't step up and get it done. That's all it really is, to save you from the pain of looking in the mirror, knowing that you didn't do everything that you could do. It's just far easier to blame it on the system. And unfortunately, this scapegoat is being perpetuated by the political leaning left. I and mean, you keep hearing it all the time now, you know, systemic oppression. The people running the system want you to believe that you're a victim of the system because they want to tear down the system and create a worse system. It's called communism. No country accepts communism until they all believe that they're a victim. Victimhood precedes communism. Because if you know that you got it good, what do you need them for? Well, you don't. So I do have a bit of a problem with the chorus because I am very anti-victim mindset. And you should be too if you want to, you know, have a good life. So let's check out the bridge for a second. Welcome to the world, everybody. I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you our religion, let the righteous find the light. But I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. And I'ma give you borders, they're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'ma give you money that you'll value more than life. And let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system, my whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because every Everything is mine. Okay, again, masterfully done. He really is good at what he does. Uh, what he's talking about here in the bridge is what we cover on this channel all the time. It's called polarity. And he's saying that people are manipulated and divided by such polarity and played off against each other. That he blames this on the system. It's not really the system per se. It's those in the know who are gaming the system. It's those who know about polarity and how to use it against people. But it's not the system, and that's the thing I get concerned with, because I want to know what system you're talking about. And if you're talking about capitalism, capitalism is working as intended. Those who provide get rewarded, and those who slack off get punished. Tom McDonald should know this better than anybody. He's one of the hardest working people in the music industry. And he's being rewarded for that effort. I get concerned because there's so many people that want to tear the quote-unquote system down and replace it with something that they think is better, but there really is nothing better than what we have here in the United States under the Constitution. And he threw in that line about how the 1% have everything while the rest of everybody has to fight to survive. Well, that's not really true. I mean, sure, prices are going up. It may feel like that at times, but even the poorest among us here in the States anyway is better off than much of the rest of the world. 
See, the reason the 1% have most of the wealth is because 1% of the people create everything, while the other 99% of people consume everything. And I know someone's going to say, well, you know, I, I create stuff. I work at the factory and I put things together on the assembly line. But that's not what I'm talking about. That's following a set of instructions. Connect A to B, put this together. When I talk about creating things, I'm talking about coming up with an original proprietary idea and then bringing that idea into reality, often with the help of others and employees. But the one who came up with it and made it happen is the creator. That's what I mean. So if you want to have a lot of money, do that. Just create something that everybody needs. You know, hell, it don't even have to be original. You can just do something that somebody else is doing, but better. Of course, it's not as easy with the competition, but you can still make a fortune that way. But the point is, if you have a victim mentality and honestly believe that you're a victim of the system, then you're going to be a victim of your own damn self. What the system really does is reward those who produce and punishes those who don't. That's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. Now, you can do things to supercharge your income, such as performing money magic. It's magic that I have ongoing to this day. I've talked about it in plenty of other videos. I just recharged my little gold pot of dirt last night. And later on, I'll be doing the magical checkbook as I do my finances. I do it all the time because I'm not a victim. I take matters into my own hands. I really like Tom McDonald, but I don't like the message of this song. And nothing irks me more than people who believe they're a victim of the system. Does that make them think that they can't do anything about it? Again, it's an excuse. So when somebody, especially this popular, puts something like this out there, I feel like I got to do my part to help counteract that, even though my views don't get like one millionth of 1% of his, but at least I'm trying to set the record straight. I'm going to be putting both The Secrets of Wealth and its spiritual successor, The Laws of Riches, on sale for 25% off the regular price. One week only, now through next Friday, the 27th. Both are going to go over how you're not a victim of the system and show you how to get some serious cash flowing into your life. The Secrets of Wealth is my best-selling program and, as such, has the most testimonials. Click on the link in the video or in the description to head on over and check them out. The Secrets of Wealth is all the money magic that I've done personally to turn my financial situation around, while the laws of riches are all the rules, the do's and don'ts that rich people follow that make them rich. They have a different way of doing things. At the top of that rule list is... Don't be a victim. Victims are losers. So don't be one. Okay, so that's about it. I don't want to go on too long. Every now and then something gets under my skin where I feel like I got to counteract it by skipping the queue and putting it out there. So I'm just going to make this month's deal a double feature. The Secrets of Wealth and the Laws of Riches. 25% off because both of them deal with tackling the victim mindset and eliminating it from your thought process. You know, let's be rational. If you hate the rich, you'll never be rich. Likewise, if you think you're a victim, you'll never be successful. Make sense? So check out the deals and my other programs on mindandmagic.com and I'll see you next time. Take care.